One of the most underused and underrated weapons in the wilderness is the Volatile Nightmare Staff. Today, I'll be using this on my level 107 med level account, Nutrition. Unlike melee and range, the mage combat style was the only one that was lacking a KO potential spec weapon. That is, until Jagex came out with this staff. Everyone in the wilderness is so scared of melee weapons like Dragon Claws and the Armadillo God Sword that many players neglect to pray mage and auto pray melee when hit with a lot of damage. With the special attack of this weapon hitting a max of 75, this leads to some pretty easy max kills. So first fight of the video I am running to the enclave managed to find these two 90s which I can barely attack fighting managed to PJ their fight hopped on and this will happen. Oh my god I almost three hit him. Dead 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 smited smited oh my god what's his plus one. Oh, a Berserker Ring? So yeah, I ended up smiting the guy. Unfortunately, his spec weapon was a DDS. Uh, still ended up getting 13 mil with his Void Cash. So, great way to start the vid. Oh my gosh, a level 88? I only get like two Wilderness levels to attack this guy? Volatile, let me down, man. Dude, he cannot change his prayers to save his life. Literally. I gotta catch this. Gotta catch it. Alright, we have a chance. I'm gonna get my spec back right here. Come on, big hit. Another big one. Volatile, please come through this time. Ah, volley came through, bro. Holy shit, he had a lot of uh, revs loot. Oh, I forgot to mention, a lot of the clips you'll see in today's video will have live commentary on them, so that is what you'll be hearing in the clips. Uh, this nice guy gets on me and it looks like he's gonna box me, but then he pulls out a ballista and starts to attack me, and then this happened. Oh yeah, the guy actually ended up pulling out full arums and throwing a half TB on me. And then a vaccine rolled up, uh, managed to freeze him and easily log out with about two mil worth of loot. Alright, alright, alright. Enough of this small stuff. I know you guys are here for the juicy PKs. Let's get into it. See that. You'll love to see that. You guys want to see me kill this guy, man? If he doesn't, if he doesn't know that I have a volley, there's like a 60% chance that he dies here. He knows I have a volley, it's like a 40-45% chance. Okay, okay, big AGS whack. 14, that's not what I wanted, but oh, okay, that's good. Splash, bro. I, if I if I hit big there, he's dead. I need it. Dead. He may have died there. May have actually died. Died! Oh! So, ended up taking this guy out for 20 mil. Uh, some people on my Twitch live stream said that this was a YouTuber and streamer parking meter. So, if it was, good fight to the boy parking meter. Uh, on to the next one. So, I was actually doing some PKing off stream and found this guy decided to do a live commentary clip of this so enjoy that yo don't get too many clips like this got a live commentary fight i'm playing off stream uh just ran into this guy so we'll see if anything happens if you're seeing this clip it probably means that i killed him but i mean if you don't see this clip you'll never know so uh 
good thing about PKing off stream is that I can PK with a volatile and people don't expect it as much. When I'm PKing on stream, I lose that element of surprise with the volatile staff. So some people like to just use their specs and then immediately telly because uh, they have no oh, balls. So even though I have to beat him, I just want to TB him just so I uh, know he can't teleport. And he's running away because he's half TB'd. Ooh, could have been a big bolt. Here's a big bolt right here. Oh my gosh, that could have been a sick kill. Oh, RNG did not come through for us there. Damn. That was really nice, too. Oh my gosh, that might be dead. I killed him! Holy crap. Oh my gosh. First fight off stream. First fight off stream. See, they never expect the volatile. The first volatile spec actually should have killed him. We got a little bit unlucky, but uh, don't even know what the AGS hit there to kill him. Oh, we secured the bag. Let's see how much we got. 18 mil loot. Not bad. Not the best loot, but not the best. If you think that the kills we've got so far have been crazy, we haven't even scratched the surface. As always, I'm going to be doing a giveaway on this video. We will be giving away an Armadale crossbow. But because of the insane support on the previous videos I've uploaded, if we can get this video to 500 likes before I release the next, I will instead give away a pair of Dragon Claws. To simply enter, like the video and comment your RuneScape name, and then look out at the end of next video to see if you've won. Good luck. So I'm sitting in Enclave AFK waiting to go out on another trip and our boy Jfine gets KBD pet. I realize on the way and then two seconds later I fight this guy and this happens. Make sure to say congrats to my boy Jfine in the comment section. So, got a good little tussle on our hands. Elite Void versus Elite Void. Let's see who comes out on top. Bada bing, bada boom. Send a 70 volatile to his dome. And if you'll look at the RuneScape chat, 34 mil worth of loot. I told you there was more to come. That's not it. There's still more. So these next two clips actually happened back to back. In this first clip, I used my pure account to scout this guy who had just got a kill. I do a half TB on him and the chase is on. And by chase, I should have said this guy went in and out of the rev cave over and over again. Uh, so instead, we played whack a mole, and here's what happened. And boom, just like that, hit him with that 53 AGS. I love the versatility with using Volatile and AGS because whatever they pray, I have something I can hit them with, and this time it was the AGS. That man took a trip to Lumbridge and probably a trip to the Blurin after losing 27 mil.
second. Hope you guys like that little edit. So, within 30 seconds of being TB'd previously by the guy I killed, I am re-TB'd by somebody else and immediately hopped on by a Max team. I tried to take my advice from last video. If you do ever find yourself in a situation like this, it's important just to stay calm. If you can, loot food off the person you killed. But sometimes shit just happens and we ended up dying for our loot and the 27 mil that we had just PK'd as well. Taking about a 60 mil loss. That one hurts, but we still haven't got to the best PK. So believe it or not, I do die. And believe it or not, that was actually not my worst death this video. All right, all right, all right. I got a pretty nice kill of my own. This one's for all the boys that have stuck around to the end of the video. Your patience has paid off. Check this one out. I'm fighting this guy, and then a team tries to get on me, and a crystal bower on Ancients ends up attacking me, and uh, yeah. And boom, there it is. 65 volatile spec to take this guy out for his entire crystal set. The loot ended up being 96 mil. One of the biggest PKs I have gotten in the Rev Caves. Whew. PKing with the Volatile is so much fun. Almost no PKer expects you to have one. Everyone always camps Prey Melee, so getting Specs off Prayer is very, very easy, especially if you are skilled enough to one ticket. So this next clip is a bit of a funny one. Um, these 126s were bullying my 107 at med level. Uh, I actually was just trying to log out because these guys were not risking anything, but they stopped me from logging out and well, let's just say they should have let me log out. Watch me KO him right here. How did I not log? Yeah, I could have clicked the, I should have been spamming the log out button. <laughs> See? Dumbass, sit your dumbass down. Bye. 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 Thank you. Dumbass. So, yeah, I gave him a little flame there at the end. Uh, he's a 126 bullying a 107, so he deserved it. Uh, 7.4 mil loot. Actually was risking a bit. So, figured I would end this video with another display of my bad luck. Was doing some PKing off stream and uh, fought this guy who turned out to be a bait. This maxer got on me and we decided to fight and I got unlucky once again. So unfortunately, my Volatile only ended up hitting a 54. If it had just specced a 65 like my last max kill, then I would have been walking away with his Ancestral and Armadillo and whoever knows whatever else he had. But unfortunately, I'm not. If you would like to cure my sadness, drop a like on this video. It does help with the YouTube algorithm. So please help my channel grow by clicking the like button. I'm going to end the video here, guys. As always, you don't know what anyone's going through. So just be nice to everybody. Spread some positivity, man. This world is a dark enough place as it is.
That's all for today, bro. Take care, man.